Let's work out or something, huh? Welcome back, y'all, to the studio. We are working on HIT training today, high intensity interval training. We've got five exercises, we've got four rounds, and we're gonna do each of those exercises twice in each round. Let's break it down. We've got the squat press. So we're gonna stand on the band with one foot, and we're gonna hang on to the handle so the band is on the outside of the wrist. You're gonna push the hips back, squat all the way down, and then when you stand, you're going to press the arm above your head, press the hand above your head, making sure not to lean to one side. You wanna stay nice and square, press the hand all the way above your head, and then squat all the way back down in one singular motion. So you wanna squat down, stand and press. So it's not stand and then press, it's stand and press in one singular motion. We're gonna do 20 seconds on one side, and then you'll quickly switch over to the other side and do 20 seconds on that side. Again, we're doing each of these exercises twice before you move on to the next. So you'll do the right side, then you'll do the left side or vice versa, and then you'll move on to the next exercise. We wanna make sure that the band is coming from the outside of your foot. We don't want it to make a diagonal angle from where the band is coming from. So make sure to stand on the band with the handle inward. Next up, we've got flies, and these are quick flies. So you wanna make sure that we are moving nice and smooth, nice and quick. We wanna get the heart rate up. This is high intensity, so we wanna make sure that we are moving nice and quick. Keep the core nice and tight, as always. We want the hands on the band inside of shoulder width or about shoulder width, and then you're gonna pull apart, pinching between the shoulder blades, driving the chest forward, keeping the shoulders down, and then you're going to release back to center. A nice little trick I like to do with this one is put your hand inside of the handles on both sides. If you put your hand inside, it keeps them from flapping around and whacking you. So we start off shoulders down, drive it to the chest and back, and you wanna be nice and smooth, nice and continuous for all 20 seconds. We've got curls. Next one is working the biceps. So we're gonna break down some of the smaller muscle groups with this as well. Uh, we're gonna stand on the band with one foot and we wanna make sure that we keep the elbows back at all times. If the elbow comes forward, we're gonna work the shoulder more than we're gonna work the biceps. We wanna isolate the bicep in this exercise. So keep the elbows back. We're gonna curl the palms towards the shoulders and then release down nice and controlled. Again, with any of these, Form is always more important than speed, so make sure you have the form down first, but I want these nice and quick, nice and smooth. Be in control, but also push yourself as well. Wall kickbacks. This is gonna work the triceps. So we work the biceps, the front of the arm, now we're gonna work the back of the arm. Take your band, we're gonna hold it right in the center of the band. We're gonna hang on to the handle, underhand grip. One hand goes against the wall, the other hand, again, underhand grip, palm towards the ceiling. You're gonna have your elbow back. You're gonna drive the back of the hand towards the floor and then come all the way back up. Drive the back of the hand behind you, making sure not to turn the wrist. We don't wanna turn the wrist so that it is next to you sideways. We wanna make sure that the back of the hand is always pushing away and we keep that underhand grip the entire time. This is gonna work the triceps. The reason why we are doing underhand grip and not over is if we are over, it's really easy to roll the shoulder over the top and kind of get that chicken wing. We want to keep underhand grip to really isolate the tricep. We're going to do 20 seconds one side, then you're going to take the hand, switch sides, grab the other side. We're going to underhand grip and get right into that other side. 10 seconds in between to get that nice quick transition. We'll make sure that you are ready to go for that next 20 seconds. And last, but most certainly not least, we have kickbacks. These are gonna be single legs, so we're gonna put both hands on the handles. We're gonna have the handles like so. We're gonna put our thumb underneath. I like to go like just, just like this. Um, I like to go just like this with the thumb underneath, and you're gonna push your hands into whatever platform that you are on, or you can also be on the floor if you would like a little bit more of a challenge, uh, but you don't have to go all the way down to the floor. So hands on the box or the chair or whatever you are on. We're gonna have one foot in the center of 
the band, want to make sure that we are always keeping the toes pointed down. Drive with the heel. I like to think about if my foot was flat against a box, I would be pushing that box, keeping the bottom of your foot perpendicular to the floor. So you would slide that box across the floor. Make sure to always push with the heel. If you push with the toe, you will slide the band up your heel and it will snap you right in the you know what and it doesn't feel very good so make sure that you always push with the heel and keep the toes nice and close to the floor i even like to slide the toe right on the floor as well if you would like to do the same it works wonderful
Thanks y'all for watching today. I hope you liked the video and if you did, leave a like, smash that subscribe button and always hit that little notification bell so you're first in line for new videos and new workouts. We're mixing it up, we're changing it up, we're getting lots of variety, lots of different exercises, lots of different workouts. So keep posted on these workouts. They are posted weekly. I love y'all. Keep moving forward, don't give up, and I'll see you on the next one.